Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impressions review on a powder foundation. I actually talked about this in my last review video when I was reviewing the Kiss products for foundation, concealer, and highlighter. I actually decided not to review this in the actual video because I wanted to do one dedicated to it because I was fascinated because it is said that you can use this powder foundation dry or wet. We do both today and we're gonna look at that. So if you guys wanna see all of my thoughts on this powder foundation right here and how I got this kind of everyday look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I'm hoping that I have an intro to this video. If not, hello, welcome back to my channel. A few notes, um, one, background, working on it. Next video, it's gonna be stunning, sorry. <laughs> Two, I'm hoping that by the end of this video, my hair will also look good. You know? All right, let's just jump in. So we are doing a first impression on these little guys here. These are the Kiss New York Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. Reason being that we're doing a full tutorial on this product is because I mentioned it in my last video, um, my last review video, when we reviewed the Pro Touch Liquid Foundation from Kiss. And we were talking about this guy really briefly and how it can be used dry, like a powder foundation, or it can be used wet, which I was just like, what? I've never done that before with a powder foundation, so I'm very intrigued, but I also thought this was a good opportunity to show you guys what I do on an everyday basis because honestly, I've been using the concealer from the previous video every single day with my usual powder foundation, so I figured why not try out this powder foundation instead as a little first impression review and at the same time show you guys what I do for an everyday makeup look because I don't typically wear um, liquid foundation every single day, especially lately. I've been really dry and having some breakout problems on my chin, my cheeks, just everywhere. It's been a little bit of a hot mess. So every morning I wake up, I cleanse my face and I moisturize and then later on I'll pop this on pretty much right before I go in with makeup. And this is the Visha... <sighs> This is Vichy's 89 Mineral um, Serum. It's like a booster and I just really like it. I take about one pump and just work it into the skin. I love this. You know your skin is dry when it absorbs this kind of product so quickly. So next thing that I do is I go in with concealer and I do pretty heavy concealer, concealing more so than usual because I know I'm not gonna have a full coverage foundation on. So lately I have been loving these guys. I do have a full review on the foundation and concealer. So I'll link that up here for you guys to check out if you want more information on these. So these are part of the same line, the Pro Touch line from Kiss and it is the Dark Under Eye Concealer. I've been using the shades Warm Nude and Classic Ivory and I've really been liking them. So basically all I do is I apply in the areas that I know I need it. So if you look at my skin right now, it's not bad. There's nothing like really appalling except for that guy right here. Um, this guy has been kind of bad, but I have redness in my cheeks and around my nose. And then of course the typical blemish and under eye problems. <laughs> so I just kind of go in with the warm nude and heavily, like I give a generous amount. I even do like a stroke here. So it's like almost like I'm all over my face. Then what I'll do is I'll go in with the classic ivory and just put a touch under the eyes. This is just gonna help brighten a little bit. This is a super full coverage concealer in my opinion. Um, I love it, I've really been enjoying it. Then I go in with a brush and I just blend it right into the skin. I press into the skin under the eyes. I mean, I try and do that everywhere, but when you're in a rush, you're in a rush. But under the eyes, I always press in. I don't pull. So as you can see, that really just helps even everything out. It doesn't give an astronomical amount of coverage, but it does a great job of just kind of making sure that there's no major redness or any kind of blemishes showing through. You can still see that they are showing through, but not as intensely as before. Now I like to go in with the powder foundation. On a regular basis, I've been using so many different ones, but I figured why not try out these? So. I was in the foundation, I was the shade Warm Nude. So I feel like 
I would be the same shade in um, the powder foundation. There are five shades all together. This is soft tan. This is porcelain, nude beige. These aren't in order either, guys, sorry. Classic ivory, warm nude. So I just wanna talk about the packaging really quickly. This is what it looks like. This is again, the shade 140 warm nude. Basically it is a compact like so. You can open it up, you get the powder. And then within there's a mirror and then an, also an applicator sponge. I don't typically like using these sponges just because they get dirty really quickly. Yeah, I just find the sponges get dirty really quickly and then they're hard to clean. So I like to go in just with a powder brush. This is a Sigma large powder, powder brush, but really any of them will do. And then I just like to get a lot of product onto the brush and then start pushing it into my skin. And the reason why I like to push it instead of drag it is because since there's already something on our skin, I don't want it to catch and then not go and distribute the product evenly. So I'll just start pushing it into the skin like so. And this is just gonna give a really nice, oh. So this is a first impression. This is the first time I'm using this guy. Wow. I know I'm really liking that. This is like serious full coverage for a powder foundation. So this side of my face does have powder foundation on. You can see it really did a good job of kind of concealing. It's pretty decent in full coverage. And then this side has just concealer. So there is quite a bit of a difference. I find that this is doing a good job of just kind of evening out my skin tone even further and just adding a smidgen more con of coverage. Also, I mean, I just feel like just wearing concealer, it just won't last all day. So this will kind of set it all in place. Oh, this is definitely a nice color for me as well. I also drag it down the neck a little bit. So this is what my face now looks like with it. I'm noticing right in this area, I'm a little blotchy. Definitely clinging to some dry patches. So if you have dry skin, be careful of that because it is doing that a little bit in this area. I'm noticing it looks just a little off. So I went ahead and I used the damp sponge in all the areas of my face. My camera actually stopped recording, so I'm not sure how much footage of it I actually got. Apologies for that. Going from the powder foundation to the wet powder foundation, I saw a big difference in the actual coverage. If you are somebody who likes a full coverage look but wants something a little bit quick, you're gonna really like the wet powder foundation application. Whereas for me, on an everyday basis, like I think that it's a little bit too powdery and cakey for my likings. It doesn't look bad. I'm just, I'm interested to see how it's gonna look with blush on top of it. On a day-to-day -day basis, that's pretty much the only thing that I wear on my cheeks. I don't really go in with bronzer or highlight. I just go in with like a nice shimmery blush. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Lately, I have been using one of my favorites. This one is from Milani. It's just the Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks. Oh, that's so weird. I've never with any foundation or any powder have had to go in this many times with a blush. Like it's not, especially this blush, like I've used this blush with so many different foundations. It's really not picking up the color if that makes sense. It's not picking up the color as much as it normally does with a liquid foundation. I think it's just like the powders on top of each other. It's They're just not connecting as well as they usually do. That's my assumption. I'm gonna quickly finish the rest of my face um, and then I'll jump back on camera. That's really all I do for face. And then basically what I'll do is I'll comb through my brows and just pop on some mascara and then I'm pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna hop off camera and quickly do that. And then I'll be right back to talk a little bit further about the foundation. All right, so this is the makeup look that I usually do literally every single day. Even the lip I typically skip, to be honest, I just go for my chapstick. But honestly, this is kind of the feel that I go for every day, just very minimal, just put together clean and just kind of quick 10 minute makeup routine that you can do and get out the door. Honestly, now that I've been wearing the foundation, I see it on camera, I see it in the mirror, I'm actually really liking it. Um, I'm not completely sold on it wet. I think that if I was gonna go to that extent of getting like 
my sponge damp and you know going through the motions because you have to be a lot more precise with the application when it is wet i feel personally that i would just choose to either apply a liquid foundation or a bb cream since that takes just as amount of an effort one of the biggest reasons why i go for a powder foundation is one it is so quick to just apply on top of a little bit of concealer or a lot uh, depending on how you are with your concealer application and the second thing is the actual coverage that a powder foundation gives i personally really like the look of it when it is a little bit more sheer you can see your freckles you can see a little bit of your imperfections uh i don't even want to use in quotations with that because at the end of the day everyone has things that they personally feel are imperfect but they're really not it's it's just part of who you are and i've been trying to really embrace it hence my natural nails and no false lashes um so just embracing those things about yourself will really make you love yourself even more. And this year is all about positivity for me. So yeah, I mean, I know I'm not trying to sound like a broken record or anything, but you know, the more confident you are in your own skin, the more it will project into the world and people will feel that positive energy. And that's really what I aim to be and do and just have in my life in 2019. So if powder foundation makes me feel that way, I'm going to go with it. So that's really been my routine every single day for the past couple of months, honestly, is just a little bit of concealer under the eyes and around the face in the areas that I feel like I need a little bit of extra support. And then powder foundation, not wet, like regular powder foundation. And I feel like that really does like so much for my skin. And then I feel really confident and that's what I really like to do. And it's super quick. And that is very, very important to me. All right, so let's just briefly talk about the foundation now. So I mentioned that there's five shades in the collection and it also goes for $9.99 Canadian, which I think is a really, really awesome price for a powder foundation. I've actually really been enjoying Kiss products. They are available at London Drugs in Rexall. I have seen these products at Rexall in my area. So if you are looking for them and you live in Ottawa, check out, um, I believe it was Billingsbridge and the Orleans Garden one. But yeah, I, I honestly am really enjoying their products. I'm really enjoying this foundation and the liquid foundation foundation so I'm giving it two thumbs up um not sold on the wet powder foundation vibes not into it but solo I'm really liking it anyways guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe to my channel and of course I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys